I went to public schools, um, first in Minnesota, and first in Colorado, then Minnesota, back in Colorado. Um, I was a good student from a young age, and uh, you know, I, I did it because that's what you do, you go to school. And that's what everybody did. Um, as a high school junior uh, in Aspen, Colorado, I had a class where the teacher would just read, we would read and discuss ideas. So we would read Plato, Nietzsche, Buber, and we would just sit around and talk about it. And I loved it. All of a sudden, you know, it was really interesting. Before then, I remember, you know, school being boring, but I was good at it. So I'd play the boring school game. And um, after that, I discovered a college, St. John's College, where for four years, uh, all you do is think and talk about books. And um, I was going to drop out of my junior year of high school and go to St. John's instead of senior year. But I only had two or three courses left for my high school degree. And uh, I was working 20 hours a week in a restaurant and skiing. And uh, as a consequence, I didn't, but I had good test scores. Uh, I didn't even know what the SAT was, but I was told to take this test. I did well. So my college counselor said, look, um, you can go to Harvard and uh, you know study Greek and Plato and whatever you'd learn at St. John's and you'd have a Harvard degree. So uh, I applied, got to Harvard, and then halfway through, I was kind of bored, you know, people talking at me. And I visited St. John's and um, loved it again. I'd visited it before. And so I managed to get uh, a year away credit for from Harvard for a year at St. John's, like study for a year abroad. And so I was going to have a freshman year at St. John's as my sophomore year at Harvard. Um, everybody is required to start as a freshman at St. John's regardless. Uh, but I got there and within a day or two, I knew I'd never go back to St. Uh, to Harvard because I just love thinking and talking about ideas. Mm -hmm. So after um, you know four years of that, I went to graduate school at the University of Chicago where they had some similar pedagogy. And while there I was um, training teachers to lead Socratic seminars uh, through Mortimer Adler's Paideia program, which was active in Chicago, this is the 1980s. Um, I had had no background in education, never taken one education course. So from that, in that respect, a complete uh, amateur, but four years at St. John's thinking, talking about ideas, uh, I was very Socratic. And so I managed to have a part-time gig training teachers. Then I got a full-time job as a Socratic teacher trainer in Alaska under the Alaska Paideia Project. That led to, um, that was on soft money, grant money. After a couple of years, the money ran out. And so me and my colleagues were unemployed. Some parents loved what we were doing in the public schools and asked me to start a private school for their children. And so kind of by accident, I became an education entrepreneur. I created the business plan for the Athenaeum School in Anchorage and got it started. Um, at the same time, I was recruited by a Montessori school in San Antonio, the Judson Montessori School, where the founders had been educated uh, by a Montessorian who thought that secondary Montessori should be Socratic, philosophical, personal growth and development, that kind of thing. And so I went to San Antonio to create a uh, Montessori secondary school, again, with no background in Montessori at all. Um, while there, I discovered that one should interview one's boss because they didn't have the money or institutional support to start a secondary school. So I ended up uh, helping raise money and then Socratizing the Montessori program. Uh, I wrote my book, The Habit of Thought, from Socratic Seminars to Socratic Practice at the time, and I was leading uh, in-service training for teachers across the U.S. Uh, in Socratic Seminars. Um, and then I was recruited to create a school for highly gifted children in South Florida, where we had middle school students passing advanced placement exams. Um, the founder, we had an incredibly advanced math program and the founder loved my uh, Socratic uh, humanities. Then I was asked to create Montessori middle schools for a multi-campus Montessori organization based in Palo Alto. Uh, then I was asked to create a charter high school in Angel Fire, New Mexico. Um, then I met John Mackey of Whole Foods and he and I created Flow, a nonprofit to promote entrepreneurial solutions to world problems. So I left education for about a decade. Then I came back in and created what was originally Co School, um, was Montessori Socratic project based. And then uh, that was basically, I was hired 
by Higher Ground Education, the largest Montessori organization in the US, to create Montessori high schools for them based on co-school. Um, and last year I left to create a virtual low cost version, which is now the Socratic experience. So that's a quick tour of uh, 35 years of starting schools and programs. <laughs>